What is up guys? This is Jay here, Jay Media One, and we are back with another product tech review. Today we got the composition book case. And this looks like the old cases that you would use for books or the old notebooks that you would use in school. And so this is kind of a different looking case, and we thought we'd give it a shot with the A7 tab, which we already reviewed. If you guys haven't seen the review, I'll have a link up here in the corner. Go check it out. So this is the tab. The tab A7, and this is the new case that we have. So it just comes in this plastic here. We'll pull that off. And we can see it looks like the old style notebooks. It's kind of neat. It's got that little look to it. It's got plastic on the outside, and it's got this flap here, which if you flip over, you can see it's magnetized. It's not a super strong magnet, but it does hold pretty good. Not too bad. If we open it up, it's got a little bit of packing material inside of here. Desk and bag and a piece of foam and that it's just a piece of plastic inside of here that folds back and this allows it to fit into these little slots here and if it fits into those slots then it can stand up and be used as a stand as well it also comes with and I will leave a link down in the product description for this but it also comes with this ultra thin wireless keyboard and it's made specifically for this so there's a little tab on the top pop that off we could slide this out and you can see the keyboard there it's in plastic as well so we got to get that out you just slide it out of here comes with a little manual and it is bluetooth so this has to connect via bluetooth which isn't a huge problem uh, typically with that you do have some way of charging this so i do not see a charging port immediately on here there it is on the side and that's a micro usb so we're going to have to charge this thing with micro USB, which is fine. If we turn it on, it does have some power to it, so that's good. And there's a little connect button here in the corner. If you tap on that connect button, that's what's going to connect via Bluetooth to the tablet. It has a row of buttons here. We have the home button, a zoom in button, a back button, and then just some copy and paste, play, volume rockers, and things like that. So that's pretty neat as well. So we're just going to turn that off for now, move this out of the way. We're going to get this to fit inside of here so you guys can see what it looks like. So the tab has a camera right here in the corner. We're going to line that up. We're going to get the camera lined up in that corner. We're just going to slide it in and snap it down. And it snaps in pretty good. It's not a super, super tight feeling. There is a cutout here for the volume rockers and for the on off or the sleep wake button. We do have a cutout here for the speakers on that side. Nothing really on top. Then we have a cutout for the headphone jack. We have a cutout for the power adapter and the speakers on the bottom as well, which is good. It folds in pretty good, sits pretty nice. Now it's meant so that the keyboard sits right here and it is magnetized. And when I put it on there, I can feel it try to stick to it. So that's very nice that it sticks right there. If you look up in the corners here, you can see that there's little metal plates and those are going to help the magnets attach so if we fold it down the magnets should attach pretty easily that way and that's what it looks like when it's closed there's the top there's the bottom and the sides and it looks pretty good closed it's kind of cool so we flip it open you can turn it this way and you got this little tab on the back that kind of gets in the way but it's not terrible and then we have it in this orientation so we can hold it in portrait mode and like I said, it's got three different adjustments, so we can go super high, which is almost straight up and down. A little bit of a, a lean, and then this is kind of the comfort position if you're going to be typing. So if we're going to be typing, we want it there, and then the magnets just grab right away. So the only negative to this, the real negative to this that I can see, is that you are going to have to carry around the keyboard separately. I don't believe that it will fit in here with it, but we can try. So if we slide it in right where it's supposed to go, and we close it up, oh, look at that, it does fit. So you don't have to do that. You can keep your keyboard in there with the tablet as well, which is very nice. I like that option a lot better. So the only adjustment you have to make is when you go to set it up, you just gotta move this slightly back here so that it lines up with the edge of the case. If it's lined up with the edge of the case, it's almost straight up. So for more comfort, you might want to move it just to the edge here and then you can lean it all the way to the back position 
and then it's ready to go. So we just have to turn this on and connect it to Bluetooth. And that should be it. So we just hit the sleep wake button. We can swipe it up to unlock it. Draw our little security pattern here. And then we're just going to go to our Bluetooth settings. And we're going to enable Bluetooth on this. And then we're going to hit the connect button. And then it should start to connect. And it automatically pops up there. You can see it wants to connect to the device. You just click on it and it will start to connect to the device right off the bat. So that's kind of neat. The connect button works right off the bat. Easy, easy peasy. And it's pairing and it's ready to go. And then we can start typing on it. You hit the pair button and we're done. So now we're connected. Um, if we just want to type in a web address here. So we want to go to jmedia1 Dot com you can see it the typing experience isn't gr the greatest the keys are a little flimsy and they don't really pop so when you type on it you can hear how loud they are they're very loud keys and it's not the greatest experience but I think it would be just fine to get you by um, if you're going to be typing for a long periods of time I don't highly recommend this but you can hear just how loud it is on here and the keyboard itself is flimsy I mean it wants to bend in every direction so stability wise it's not going to be the greatest keyboard but the fact that it does fit inside of the tablet's case is nice that makes it super convenient to travel around with I can just flip it off and then uh, put it away in the case and it's ready to go so there's a kind of a, a little beveled edge here kind of sits up a little bit higher and that kind of lets you know where to set it and once you set it, it does magnetize in there. It holds it. And then you fold it closed, and you're good to go. And that's it. And it's not that heavy. It feels pretty good. It's, uh, it's really thin. If you see it right in the edges and the corners, you can see how thin it is. It's not that heavy. It wouldn't be any heavier than a, than a regular uh, book. It is a lot heavier than a notebook, but it wouldn't be heavier than a, than a regular book, I don't believe. So it's kind of nice, just that convenient form factor to flip it out, slide it to where you want it. And then you're good you can turn it on start typing like I said it's a little loud but as soon as I start typing it does recognize it once I turned it on so the the Bluetooth responsiveness is there it is pretty fast and uh, I would definitely recommend it it's a cool little case and it's gonna be easier to carry your uh, your tablet around you do not have the ability to detach it but like I said you flip it around and right there you're you're in a, a viewing mode and then if you don't want the keyboard you, ha you have that option as well so I would say it's pretty cool guys give it a check and if you like this video make sure you mash the like button make sure you hit subscribe so that you can see our next one and we will see you for the next tech review later guys